Good morning, everyone. I am chilling in my car right now here in the Atlanta area, getting ready for the day. Um, we got a lot of rain last night, but it was cold. It was like 37 degrees and raining, so it was barely even rain. Uh, there were snow flurries in a lot of the Atlanta area. And uh, but we did end up getting a lot of precipitation, which should make today a pretty good day to look for salamanders. So I'm gonna be heading out, um, checking out an area I've never been here in the Atlanta area. Um, I have been in this area a lot, but I've never been to this specific spot. So it's all new for me here. But anyways, we have the lofty ambitions today of trying to turn up a mud salamander here in Atlanta, uh, where they are probably the most uncommon slash mysterious amphibian we have. Um, they're only known from a couple of places on the south side to my knowledge. And uh, if we get one here, it'll be a county record potentially and definitely a huge find for me. Um, but either way, it should be some decent bycatch today even if we don't see our main target. But yeah, let's get after it and see what we can turn up. All right guys, just flipped the first herp of the day. The ever present upland chorus frog. I kind of thought this guy might have been Brachyphona for a second, but I don't think he's quite warty enough. He's got a little bit more of a slender face. Mountain chorus frogs have more of a blunt nose than this guy. But pretty good start. Still pretty cold outside, probably in the high 30s, so I'm just going to slip this guy back under his log. And, oh, about to lose that guy. But nice spotted salamander double flip right here. Looks like two big boys. Actually, that one might be a girl, but big spotted salamanders. We're probably gonna see quite a few more of these today. This is our fourth, I think, chorus frog of the day under a log. Really strange. These are definitely fairy iron though. That first one was definitely the darkest and most brachyphona looking of them so far, I think. But anyways, plenty of these so far. That chorus frog was like right over there. And there's yet another spotted salamander. Tristan flipped this guy. Another big male. Swollen cloaca and all. Notice she is much chunkier and does not have the swollen cloaca like the males in the previous clips. So I flipped this guy. This is the first southern two-line salamander of the day. It's actually a girl. And uh, right here, Tristan flipped a big gravid female spotted, and she's huge. You can see her next to this two line. But pretty good diversity so far and decent numbers, and it's still early and cold, so I'd say we're probably in for a pretty salamandery day at the very least. But it's gonna warm up fairly nice today, so there's always a chance we could see something else too. But anyways, we're gonna put these two back under their logs and keep moving. We actually missed this guy on the first glance over but there is another chorus frog right here there's yet another chorus frog i'm definitely on the fence about whether or not these are brachyphona or fairy arm this one's giving me brachyphona vibes but uh the easiest way to tell these two apart is when they start calling the brachyphona have a noticeably different call um but we're gonna get a lot of shots of these guys all right guys next notable find of the day large seal salamander i just flipped we saw a couple of them right here in this little rock jumble but uh they're slippery and big and we lost one of them you know saw a bunch of smaller ones and maybe a few conan time there too but this is a currently undescribed species of seal salamander that uh hopefully will be named here shortly and we'll uh, have an official name for these guys but for now I'm just gonna call this a seal salamander but really cool looking big desmogs these guys are almost as big on average as black bellies, which are the biggest desmog, so really cool to see. Anyways, we kind of moved uphill a little bit into this more spring salamandery habitat, and hopefully we'll be able to turn one of those guys up if we don't see any mud salamanders. All right, guys, Tristan just flipped something pretty cool. This is a little writhing nest of Eurycia eggs, probably two-line salamander, but uh, we saw this earlier it was January. It had to have been January because it's February now. I guess it was probably in mid-January that we saw some of these guys after they'd been freshly laid. But this is a more mature clutch that's probably going to hatch out here within the next couple weeks. So pretty cool to see. Anyways, we're going to try to gently replace this rock and keep working our way up this stream. All right, guys, we're still making our way up the seepage, and it just keeps getting better and better looking for spring salamanders. 
But I turned over a log and saw this little guy underneath. He's not very little, actually. This is a pretty hefty northern red salamander. Really handsome looking adult, good condition, and uh, definitely probably the highlight of the day so far. Anyways, we've seen a lot of these guys recently, but they are always one of the things I look forward to seeing this time of year, so I will not complain about that at all. And hopefully we'll be able to round off the day with the spring here in a little bit. But this habitat, like I said, just keeps getting better and better, so hopefully we'll be getting into springs here soon. So one thing I forgot to mention is that today we're actually in the Atlanta city limits, which makes finding things like this even cooler. This is super weird habitat to see a spotted salamander in. We're way uphill of all those pools we were in earlier. And I flipped this guy basically in the seepage. Super cool. But that is a really handsome looking spotted salamander. So I'm gonna photograph him and put him right back. Today is definitely shaping up to be very salamandery though. All right, releasing what will probably be the nicest spotted salamander of the day back into his log. All right, guys, we're probably gonna wrap up our city limits herping with this guy right here. This is a yet another spotted salamander. Not too much to look at, but always nice to see these guys in good numbers like we have today. So we're probably gonna go hit some spots outside the city limits that aren't too far from here though, and try to get some more diversity. So that area that we found all those chorus frogs earlier is now a booming chorus as it's warmed up a little bit and they've woken up. But it's about like probably 11.30 to noon right now. So we're gonna switch up and hit a different spot. All right guys, we've changed locations to this really cool little isolated ridge here in Metro Atlanta. And uh, the target in this area is the Webster salamander. I've seen a million of them, but Tristan has never seen this species before. So we're gonna look around here. I've only been to this area a couple times, so I really just wanted to get out here and explore it a little bit more and uh, just see what we can turn up. So really cool habitat. We're gonna see what we can kick up. So- You wanna get one here? Yeah. So this little seepage right here was really the first kind of area we stopped. And I wasn't really expecting to see Webster eye in this because it's literally in the water. But I flipped this big rock and underneath it were two of them. The other one's gone back under it already but these were Tristan's lifers, so we let the other one go when he's been photographing this bigger one. But this is a huge Webster eye. You can see they've got that classic carrot tail look. And uh, normally when they have a little more pattern than this guy, they have a more serrated stripe than red backs, but this guy has a pretty clean little carrot tail. It seems like a lot of the ones here actually have that carrot tail look. It's kind of locality distinctive. Um, but anyways, really big Webster salamander first one i'm sure we're going to see more really like to see some other diversity here because this is the only species i've ever seen at this spot um mostly because i come in the dead of winter like this so we're gonna put this girl slash guy back under their rock nice little jump right there and see what else can turn up all right guys a little more poking around in this immediate area I turned up three or four more of these here's just a couple of them most of them escaped down holes i actually flipped three under one rock but look at those beautiful carrot tails. Such cool little plethodonids. I'm sure we're going to see plenty more. Um, but at, at some point, I'm just going to stop showing them. Because you guys have seen so many of these on my channel from various trips. So, But anyway, it's nice to see them today. Definitely nice to see them here again. And the ones here are really nice looking too. These are beautiful little salamanders. But anyways, plethodon Webster eye. Awesome. All right, guys. Another look at this habitat. Really cool looking. But there's a lot of good looking Webster eye rocks right here. So I'm going to try to get a flip clip of one of these guys. Since, I mean, I probably flipped five rocks in this area and found just as many, if not more. So literally like two seconds after I stopped recording, I flipped this pair. Check out this orange-yellow guy. Super cool looking. All right, this other one's more typical of what we've been seeing. And we've got the yellow one. But Webster salamanders. Two more of them. Hopefully we can find a better looking one of this yellow phase with a complete tail. All right, unless we see any like crazy flips, those will probably be the last two I show you. Two more little Webster salamanders. That one's got a little bit of the yellow on him. This one's a little bit more typical looking. He has more of a stripe. Um, you can see up towards the head, that stripe starts to get a little bit messy. And that's one of the ways you can tell these guys apart from redbacks. 
They have more of a zigzaggy stripe. They look more like zigzag salamanders than they do redbacks. Orange versus red in these. But... All right, so I think what we have here is a redback and a Webster salamander. You can see the difference in the color on these two guys and uh, the way that this one has the, the kind of snowflake flecking on its sides. Definitely makes me lean red back. This area is one of the only places, if not the only place, where these two are known to occur sympatrically. So maybe red back on that one. Definite Webster eye there. We're going to put them back. Ah, yes. Textbook habitat for the American bullfrog. Definitely the last thing I was expecting to flip. But, I mean, little bullfrog. These guys are about as generalistic as it gets, so... He's doing his best, living his best life up here. So I'm gonna leave him to it. Little bullfrog. One of them dips, but there were two Webster right here. We're still working it. This habitat is so cool, even if we don't see anything that's not Webster eye, it's worth being out here. So this is weird. Tristan spotted a Webster eye on the crawl in the middle of the day. And it's a little tiny hatchling thing that's like the size of my fingernail basically super weird we got it into a little sea beach habitat here we're going to try to find some uh spring salamanders again could someone explain to me why between like right there and here we've seen like 15 webster eye just chilling in the seepage like they're desmogs these are supposed to be completely terrestrial salamanders that don't even have a larval stage they lay eggs on land so we think this is actually ridiculous. Look at this rock and the size of it and the amount of salamanders under it. Pretty ones too. Well, we finally found some Webster eye where we would expect them under this log on a dry ridge top. Four of them under this one, but we're just gonna put them back. Our day is probably coming to an end here shortly, so. All right, guys, this is probably gonna be the conclusion of this video, but we got another red back and Webster eye under the same rock, or this is under a log, actually. But you can see them side by side. One thing to note is how thick the tail of the Webster eye is in comparison to that long, skinny tail on the red back. And uh, of course, the red back's more red, and the Webster eye tend to be a more orangey shade. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for today. Unfortunately, it is cooling off and we missed most of our main targets, but we did have a really good day all around of salamandering. Um, I'll be able to get out more videos this week, uh, thankfully. Hopefully, because of today, this should be able to make it its own video. I have, like, seep mud all over my face from just all-around salamander shenanigans. So, But anyways, I've got a bit of a drive home, so I'm going to get that done. I'm probably going down to South Georgia this week to hang out with Will. It's going to be pretty warm down there. So we're going to go get after it down that way. And uh, hopefully there will be some snakes coming your way at the end of this week. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Spring is coming in fast. So hopefully you guys are ready for some good videos.